Okay. So now that I have a way to get game image files onto the system itself, um, as I said before, there's different thing ways you can actually run them. Uh, one way is to run them straight off the hard drive if you get that set up right. Another way is to use virtual drives. But I'm taking this step by step and figuring out stuff the old fashioned way. So the next step is to just use image writing software. Essentially meaning you, you can use any x68000 computer as a floppy disk writer. So if you just want to write images straight to floppies, most of them will work just fine. Um, it's pretty much the same as using something like xfloppy or omniflop on a computer. Um, sometimes you have to use special images for games that have special protection like Daimakaimura. But the majority of games, pretty much all of them, you can just take an image and do it. So, um, let's see. So first, so I'm gonna make a a copy of Code Zero, as I haven't been able to find an original of this yet. I've already made one of the two discs, so I've got a disc. Um, this is hard to do because I only have so much cord. <laughs> so first I'm gonna do a fresh format. Uh, da, 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 da. Format. I'm just using an old disk I have sitting around, so I'm not sure how good condition it is. So even though it's already blank, we're just gonna put that format. Doesn't take too long. Uh, screw, screw. screw the table. I have to do it all one handed. So this game is two discs. And Disc 1 has already been made, so we're just going to do Disc 2. Which, uh, I'd like to be able to run stuff directly off the hard drive, but even still, just being able to do this is awesome. Because um, all you need to use are standard XDF files, which you can get off the internet. Uh, a lot of the uh, files you download will actually be in DIMM format, but you can just uh, convert those to XDF very easily with the right program. And then just you know, use your CD-ROM drive or whatever to put all the XDF files on your computer. Um, okay, so I'm using the mouse like one-handed, so... <laughs> we're formatted, go up to X, uh, it's gonna be pain doing it this way. Drive trait. And... let's go. A little shaky cam, but... So I've got my little directory here that I called called make disk. And here I've got my code zero image files, just standard XDF format. And I'm just gonna move this down a little. I really do like using SX Windows because then I just don't have to you know, remember the file paths and whatever. And then, okay, so, um, the writing software is part of the 2HD Sim 10 library that's freeware. You can download it off some Japanese sites very easily. It's where I got it. And then the program MKEIMG, Make Image is the image software. Um, now you have to use the command line to do this. But thankfully I can also do this right through the uh, SX console. It works just fine. Uh, move this down here. Just and <laughs> to do this with one hand. 
close these windows, I don't need them. Alright, and then just go up to the System 1 console. Alright, and then screw you up a bit. Okay, that works. Alright, so using the console, you get basically full command um, control while using SX. So, we gotta go to our directory, which is that. So, A, C, D, slash. Yeah, I can't type with one hand. Give me a minute. Okay, uh, pull up your directory, and then we want to run mkimg dot x, um, and then we need to put a little, sp sp now the default use of this program is actually to create images, yes, you can take any floppy and rip your own image as well, so you can back up stuff easily. So, uh, let me just type it in. So yeah, the, uh, the perimeter to restore an image, basically to write an image to disk, is R. So, okay, image, G dot R, and then you type the drive you want it to go to, which in my case is going to be drive D, my second floppy disk, and another space, and then the path of the image file we're using. Zero. And then the image file, which is code Z one dot XDF. So I'll focus. So yes, yeah, so there's MKIMG. So we're in the directory, g.x space, then line r, since we're going to restore an image, and then d is the drive we're going to, which is, in this case, my second floppy disk, the one with the light on it. And then we're going to use the image, which is a, on my hard drive, so make disk co slash code zero, code one.xcsf, which is just the same as that. And then we just hit enter. And blah 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 blah. It tells you it's gonna basically kill its ever in drive D. Confirm. And as you can see it's writing the disk. 
And yeah, this is just a standard uh, XDF image that you normally find on the internet for um, running in an emulator or whatnot. Sometimes you'll get one that doesn't work, in which case you need to try another one because some of the images are... You know, emulators are a lot more tolerant to broken crap than any than uh, the real hardware is. But if you get a good proper image, this will work like 95% of the time. If it doesn't, you probably just need to find a cracked game for a few of the more picky ones. Okay, and it says the restore is completed. Um, so that's pretty basically ready to go. So let me just shut down here. So, do, 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 do. Close you. Close you. Close you. Okay, and then we'll just put in the first disc. And shut down SX. So SX is in its you can turn me off now mode. And we'll we got the discs in. Let's reboot and see if she works. She's booting off the disc. Looks like the disc it's reading from the disc we just wrote. She gonna go? Looks like she's gonna go. If you're not familiar with this game, yes, it's made by Enix. It's a pretty basic Raiden clone, but the music is fucking awesome, and there's reason enough to play the game. So as long as I get this on, why not a little gameplay? So yeah, as long as you've uh, got a good healthy set of discs and good image files, you can write your own image files straight off the internet onto disk, right on the computer itself. All you need is uh, the image writer. How to use it. So things like X floppy, Omniflop, fuck that shit. I don't need no damn desktop with a five and a quarter inch drive in it. the bottom you can actually slow the scrolling down quite a bit.
this is a joke too. But anyway, you get the point. So yeah, um, it is extremely possible and very easy actually to take whatever game image you want off the internet and make it into your own fully working floppy set on the original machine without any uh, fancy programs or anything other than what's already meant for it to use. So you don't need a, you know an extra computer for a 5 inch drive in it, you just need your basic x68000 computer and a way to get to the uh, image files on the computer. So yeah, this was step two. Next thing to figure out is how to uh, boot games straight off the hard drive, and then I don't even need to write floppies anymore. But for the time being, this is pretty damn awesome, and uh, God, I could listen to this all day.